Okay, so back looking at our code again. So remember where we were. We've got um, a couple of people here, Joe and Suzanne, they've both got a score. Um, we've now got a generic print score function, which we call, we pass in their particular name, name one and score one. It goes away and prints the score for us and adds the bonus and works out whether they've got all that or not. Uh, we then set up new, two new variables, name two and score two, and we use the same function, print score again. This time we're passing in name two and score two into the same function uh, and again it does that for the, the next player. So we've used generic names within our function name and score and we're passing in particular names in the variables name one and score one then name two and score two. But it's still not quite right because when we think about it the print score function by the definition of its name should print the score. But when we look at what we've got in there it's actually doing more than printing the score. It's clearly Kind of doing this bonus calculation for us and the the values that we're using to calculate this bonus are in this print score function so 100 is obviously our uh, upper limit our, our threshold our bonus threshold and 10 are the bonus points that we get and we've embedded those numbers deep within the code and remember this function here print score could be one of, of, of hundreds of functions within our code and if the programmers come back and say you know what um, it's not working we need to up the bonus threshold to 200 and we're going to give them 20 bonus points they'd have to come back down here into your function and physically change these numbers within your function so we try not to hard code these variables and that's if they could find it because you have called your function or we have or I have because I've just written it print score and clearly it's doing more than printing the score so probably the name print score is not a very good name for this function, although it is printing the score, but it's doing other things. And this leads us to realising that this print score function is really doing two things. It's calculating the bonus and the score as well as printing it. So really we try to bunch all this in one function and made a bad job of it. What we need to do is decompose this particular function into its two constituent parts. There's a bit that will clearly do the bonus score for us and then there's a bit that will print it so we kind of come back now and start hacking our code a bit thinking right so I need to define um, a function called add bonus which will obviously have my bonus for me and I need to think about what the add bonus function needs well it needs the the players score so it'll need their kind of current score because that's going to be the starting point um, Rather than hard code the numbers 10 and 100 in, like I say, we're going to actually pass them into this function. So I need to know what my bonus threshold is. And I need to know what the bonus points are. So now I'm starting to actually plan this a bit better. I'm thinking I've got a function, it's going to add the bonus. What does the bonus function need? Well, it needs to know the original score, and obviously it needs to know um, what the threshold is, at what point do I add a bonus, and if I do, how many points do I add? So we're passing it, we're giving it all the information that it needs to actually do this particular job. So we can now say, if the score is greater than the bonus threshold, So that's doing our test so if that is true what do we need to do um, we need to do the score is now assign the value score plus bonus fresh, uh, bonus points okay so that's fine that's our, our function now will go away and if it's applicable uh, that this particular person needs um, bonus points because they've met the threshold within the function here it will recalculate the score so that seems to have satisfied our score function but clearly as you should be aware score is a local variable within the add bonus function so if I just end here and let my function finish that's it that new calculated value will die when this function ends what we've got to do is we've got to send it back out into the main program so we need to return the value of score. So our function ends now and we send back into wherever we called this from 
the value of score. So back up here now in our main code, and notice we've not messed with print score yet, we're going to do that in a minute. What I really need to do now is say score one is assigned a value of add bonus. And what do I want to pass into that? I need to pass score one in. I need to pass the um, bonus threshold, which is 100, and the bonus points with a value of 10. So just to reiterate that, if you're not clear what's going on there, we're now calling the add bonus function at this point, and we're passing in the score 190, the values 10 and 100. That calls the add bonus function, passes in, in the first case, Joe, the value 90, sorry, it, pass, sorry, it doesn't pass in the name, so it passes in the score, the value 90, the value 100 that we've hard coded up here, and the value of 10. If the score was bigger than the bonus threshold, which for Joe it wasn't, that's fine. Doesn't do this uh, statement. Just realised I've put the return in the wrong place. And then it will come to the end and it will return the score, which will still be the same value. So we won't have altered score 1. However, when we get to Susan and we pass in 130 for her, 130 will be bigger than 100, so it will do 130 plus 10, give me 140. It will return the value of 140. And notice when it returns the value, where does it return it to? It returns it to this point here where the function was called from. So the return value comes into the code here and becomes on the right-hand side of the assignment statement. So the return value in this particular case is put back into score one, uh, which I should take the space out of. So obviously if I'm going to do that for uh, score one. I also need to do it now for score two. Okay, so our add bonus and an altering of our score now is now not done within the print score function which means I don't need to do all this checking within the print function anymore. The print function is about printing the score. So that would seem to be quite straightforward. I just need to take out the bit that's doing the checking and the bit that's messing with the score to uh, make it a bit easier really. So what's our print score going to do? It's going to say um, print, in fact it's probably easier if I just kind of get rid of all this because I've got to basically rewrite it. So it's going to say print um, name. Oh, let's make it a bit tidier. Print well done. Name. And then we'll print you scored. and it's called score locally in here. Okay, so let's see if that works. Um, seems to have got all the various bits there. So well done Joe, you scored 90. Well done Susan, you scored 140. That's okay. But what we actually didn't do back up uh, in our print score is we didn't say whether they'd had the bonus or whether they uh, had any more points they needed to get the bonus. So we, we've got to think about that. And then now we start scratching our heads thinking, OK, so in the print score function, how can I tell whether somebody's add um, a bonus added or not? Because I've not recorded that fact separately. When we call the print function, we just get a name and we get their score. So we don't really know. Um, there's no, nothing to say that a bonus has or has not been added. But obviously, if you think about it, um, what you're going to do here is if the person got a hundred then their score will be a hundred and ten because they will have the bonus added so if they've got a hundred and ten the only way they could have got that would be with the with the bonus added so we can kind of cheat really and we can say if the score is bigger than well actually we could just say bigger than a hundred that will work as well because obviously if they got more than a hundred then they'll get the bonus and they'll be well above a hundred so if the score uh, is a hundred we can just say print You've got bonus points. Else. So 
they didn't get this print no bonus points you were uh, so I've got to calculate the bonus points uh, in here so um, I'm just going to worry about how to do that in a minute um, so I'm just going to create a variable called shortfall okay so otherwise we're going to print no bonus points you were shortfall point short so I've got to calculate shortfall in here so my shortfall will be assigned um, gosh what's how are we going to work out shortfall so shortfall was a um, hundred minus uh, score that seems to kind of be alright but hang on a minute we were trying not to code 100 in here weren't we we didn't want to we didn't want to put the numbers uh, down in here so I can't do that I need to call this um, what do I call it elsewhere I called it bonus threshold bonus threshold minus score so I've got that uh, there now but hang on a minute it's still not going to quite work because my bonus threshold down here um, is uh, not available within my print score function so I need to make that available when I actually come to code that and it's and it and now I'm kind of doing a, a calculation in here and I was trying to get away from you know doing calculations because this is a print score function the print score function should just have a really clear job and just be printing the score I shouldn't be doing loads of other stuff in here so I, I kind of don't like that it's starting to mess things up again so I'm going to talk it out take it out in fact when I think about it what I need to do because at the moment I've got fairly clear rules how um, I work out the shortfall but again those rules might change in the future what I really need to do is just do a quick separate function called um, point short Um, and this function point short what will it what will it need to know it'll need to know the player's score and it will need to know what the bonus threshold is so that's what it's going to do and the shortfall how am I going to calculate what the shortfall is well obviously it is the bonus threshold minus the score and then I can return shortfall so when I call this function called points short I'm going to tell it what the person's score is tell them the bonus threshold so 130 and 100 or 90 and 100 it's going to work out the shortfall for me so 100 minus whatever their score is and send that back so if you look, I'm calculating a variable here called shortfall, uh, and I'm assigning the value of the mass to it, and then I'm returning the value. Well, actually, I don't need to do that if you think about it. Why, why have I calculated a variable, or, or created a variable, and then returned the variable? Because all I need to do in my statement is this. Get rid of that. So I now do the calculation, bonus threshold minus score, which is obviously how many more points I need, and I just return it straight away. There's no need to store it in a temporary variable. So I've got a neat little function here called points short, which then will um, do that calculation for me. And it saves me putting maths kind of up here in the actual uh, main coding. So I don't don't particularly want to do that. So up here now I can say not shortfall but I can just call the function points short so 
because that's the value it's going to return is how many points I'm short and what does that need it needs a score and it needs a value 100 okay so that's kind of tidied it up a bit more let's run it and check that all still seems to work well done Joe you scored 90 no bonus points you were 10 short well done Susan you scored 140 you got bonus points fantastic so our code um, has worked it's improved it's been a bit of a pain to get to this point so far but uh, at least now we've got clearer functions um, we've got a print score function and that just prints the score that's all it does it prints information about the score other work that it needs to do it calls other functions to do that it calls the point short function which works out how many points it's short so I've not cluttered up my, uh, my print score function doing that and my add bonus function is nice and separate and we we call that back from up in main so it's pretty much there now we, we've kind of got uh, to the point of code a couple of little last bits to do which we'll look at in the next session